How's it going guys? My name is Marco. Welcome to this new video. I talk about in this channel about personal growth, my life, about my journey to success. I'm an Italian model, I'm, an, I'm studying acting and I don't know if you ever consider to follow my journey, please subscribe, consider subscribing to the channel. So in this video, I don't want to talk about beauty care, I don't want to talk about fitness, I don't want to talk about personal growth, but I want to update you on what's happening in Italy right now. I made a video about it in Italian and also in English on my channel last week, but I want to update you on what's happening. So for the next days, I think I'm gonna make just a short update on what's happening. Today is March 10, yeah, the 10th of March, and everything's different. Everything's closed. Uh, Europe finally starts seeing that uh, infected people are not just in Italy, but they are from everywhere, from France, from Germany, from England. So uh, like this hate on Italy is slowly coming down and they started making red flag areas in the north of Italy yesterday. But then from tonight, the whole Italian region, the, no, the whole Italian area is a red area. So you cannot go outside of your home if you don't have the permission. So basically you cannot just go outside. You, can, you are not allowed to go everywhere. You're not allowed to take uh, public transportation or maybe you can, but just for three reasons. Because of work, so you have the permit, you have the permission to go to work the second reason is because somebody in your family is ill and you have to go and assist. And the third thing, uh, I think to buy like a uh, food or it has to be like a really important uh, and really critical uh, reason to go outside. So if you are not uh, into one of these three categories, you're not allowed to go outside. And if they see that you're not going anywhere or that you're just walking around, yeah, you can walk around and uh, you can uh, run and you can do whatever, but you're not like just uh, allowed to go around with your car or uh, going to Rome or going to other parts of Italy because they're gonna stop you. They're gonna put you in quarantine and you are gonna be ticked. So you have to pay money and you can also risk to go to jail. So it's really tough. So everything's closed, theater are closed, uh, cinemas are closed, uh, even gym, the gym is closed right now, every gym are closed. The only thing that are open are bars and restaurants uh, from 9 to 18, uh, so from 9 to from nine to 6, yeah, 6 o'clock p.m. So they're not allowed to do dinners and, and some stores, stores and grocery stores are open, but restaurants just from 9 to 8 to 6 p.m. and the um, grocery stores and commercial stores are open just on normal days, on weekdays, but not on weekends. So that's it. On my store, I work right now part-time at Primark. Uh, we're not allowed to go for a couple weeks to job. Even here, everybody at home, everybody's at home because we are not allowed to go to work. They're smart working, so people that work normally in the office, they can work from home. But normal people like me, they cannot work from their computer, they're just here at home. So whatever we can do is just uh, do a lot of things that we procrastinated on. <laughs> so focus on yoga, meditation, personal growth. We can read a lot of books. I'm gonna read uh, books. I'm gonna work out anyway here at home. So even if the gym is closed, I'm not gonna stop. Uh, I'm just gonna try to eat healthier. I'm just gonna try to stay active. And if I'm at home, drink water. Remember to drink water. So I'll suggest you to stay at home. Uh, make it pass. If we stay all at home for 15 days, it will go away quicker. I think they're gonna sanitize the streets tonight. And yeah, the whole war the whole world is trying to fight it uh, together. So this is cool. Uh, we starting also sharing money, China sharing money with Italy and it's starting to become really cool. So I think we're gonna fight it together. We're gonna, uh, it will go away. This bad period will go away. In the meantime, you know, seeing the positive uh, perspective on life, we just have to stay at home and make it more as as much productive as possible so try to read 
try to listen to podcasts, try to consume on social media, try to post on social media. Right now, everybody's on social. So if you're following because you know sometimes I post about how to grow on social media, this is the right moment to post. So because everybody's doing TikTok, everybody's going on through Instagram or YouTube on podcasts and blogs, so just post. People will watch you because they don't have anything else to do. So just post. And that's it. This is the update for now. Try to explore the time at home, try to be productive, try to learn new things, try to get things done that you've already procrastinated on. So thank you so much for watching. I'll leave you with updates uh, during these days if something weird happens. Good morning, it's 11th of March, so it's the day after it's the day after <laughs> so today news some news i woke up earlier today uh, to make some stuff to read some a lot of books uh, to work out do yoga meditation all my routine as always but i decided to exploit this time to be a little bit more productive and news from italy basically china is uh, become better so it's getting better with virus they almost defeated the virus so they're happy with that so they're they're starting to help Italy financially and providing some items providing like masks providing uh, some cures providing different things for uh, to Italy and another news a lot of influential people famous people from all over the world, they're starting to help Italy, both financially and whatever. So everything's going great. And everything's closed definitely until the 3rd of April. So even my job, they, they called me today and they told me that for this week, they're just gonna close at six. So everything will be closed at six uh besides pharmacies and grocery stores everything will be closed besides those things until the 3rd of april so this is the news so today you have to go to work but it will close really soon at six and next week i won't be able to go to work so next week nobody's going to work everything will be closed and we will have to stay at home so there's nothing to do we just have to stay here being productive doing things posting on social media everything i'm making more videos i'm posting more and so this is a little update i had to fill this form here to go to to work because every time that you have to go somewhere that you go out of your home and police can stop you and you need to have the permission. So I have this permission and it's just to go to work. You can have the permission to go to work, to go to somebody that is ill in your family or for very critical reasons. So that's it for today. Today is the 11th of March. Let me see if something happens today as well too. Good morning, update from the 12th of March. Uh, it's getting worse, <laughs> worse and worse. We are not allowed to go anywhere, not even walking outside. So my job yesterday, they just, I just arrived to my job place and they told us that we have to go back home. So, and to wait for news, for updates. So we went back home and they told us that all the superstores, everything will be closed definitely every day, every night, definitely until the 25th of March and maybe until the 3rd of April, some of them. So since until yesterday, we could at least go outside and like have a walk here, uh, going outside uh, in our own town small town but now this is not possible anymore there's police everywhere 
and if they see that you are walking around they'll just stop you and bring you back home or give you a ticket to pay or so yeah today is a little bit worse they just want us to stay home basically they just wanted to stay home uh, i'm just working here at home uh, working out at home doing everything from home uh, reading spending some time here creating content for social media so yeah uh, we have to stick with it and that's the only way Friday, 13th of March, uh, we're just stuck at home. Like yesterday, the only difference from today, from yesterday is that uh, something's moving, uh, which means the um, in China, everything's okay. There are no other people that are infected. So people from China, the, medici the um, doctors came here to Italy to help us pass this virus so i think that finally something's happening and in israel they're trying for the first time um vaccine that is actually doing something so it's healing some people so we are actually starting to find a way and i hope this won't last that long so today this is a situation but we have to stay at home as well Good morning, it's 14th Saturday and nothing actually has changed. So we're stuck at home and I see that in Europe they're starting to see critical changes as well. So yesterday I had a call with my friend Mr. World Austria and we met together. We met the Mr. World competition in Manila last summer. So we talked about the situation in our country and Italy, of course, is the worst, like in the worst situation. But actually in Austria and other countries that I that I saw and that I talked with other people that I knew from uh, from Europe, basically they start seeing changes as we did here in Italy one week ago. So it seems like in Italy we are one week ahead than other people in other countries. So I think we are going to go out of this situation earlier than other countries but we went we got into this situation earlier as well um chinese medici medicians doctors are doing a great job and uh, they're telling us to stay at home they're telling us that there's still too many people outside in rome and in other country in other towns yesterday i had a walk with my dog because right now you can also go out having a walk to walk out your dog and yesterday I had one with my dog, but there were actually nobody. Nobody it looked like a zombie apocalypse, post-apocalypse situation. So it's crazy. So yeah, everybody's stuck at home. The situation is this and nothing else to, to say. And it's starting to get like this in the whole Europe. But there's a lot of uh, companies and big uh, influential people that are starting to donate money. Uh, so I think we are getting somewhere. Hello guys, it's Sunday the 15th. I think I'm just gonna end the update here and the vlogging here for now because nothing's happening, like it's all the same. Uh, we're stuck at home, we cannot do anything. Uh, the government released on media and TV every day new people that is dying, new people that is infected and it's actually people even around here but we have to stay at home so nothing to do, nothing else uh, for now uh, on social media you can see whatever kinds of uh, news, fake news, normal news uh, people that are going to the balcony to sing at 6 p.m. here all together to do something People that are getting crazy <laughs> it's i don't know we have to stay at home so this is the only thing that we can do i'm reading i'm focusing on my personal growth i'm learning new skills i'm learning how to dance i'm learning coaching so i want to start coaching right now uh, i do live streams i create TikTok videos i do a lot so i think for now until there will not be anything new oh yeah and the whole world right now is starting to 
see the things and the change that we had in Italy one week ago. So I think that this will be a worldwide thing really soon. But Italy is going fast, so I think we're gonna end this before the other people. So yeah, and we cannot go. Yeah, you can go outside to have a walk. It's Sunday and there's such a sun outside, but it's not correct, for example, because if you are 23 years old like me and you are healthy and you're strong and your body's strong because you work out, you eat vitamin and whatever, maybe you even have the virus, but you don't know it because you're strong and it doesn't do anything to you, but outside there's people that is old and weak, uh, you cannot even, you, you don't want to go there and infect people. So it's not correct to go outside. So we just have to stay at home. So this is the update for now. It's getting worldwide. It's getting real for everybody. I'm happy, happy, understand what I mean by saying happy. By saying happy, I mean that right now that is starting to be global and it's a problem for everybody. It means that we're getting to the fact that it's a sense of urgency to find the cure and to find a vaccine will be worldwide. So everybody will be uh, trying to find a cure. And the economy is not going good. Everything's not going good. Of course, it's paused, but we have just to stay here and wait. So that's it, guys. I think this is, this is the final video. I'm going to release it today. I just made a live stream here on YouTube. So just release it today and update you once there is something new. See ya and thanks for watching. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul.